good day to you guys um welcome to another tutorial from xeno trust today we're going to talk about how to get any premium wordpress plugin for free okay but i suspect you already know how to do that if you are watching this video so i'm going to go one step further to show you the dangers of getting premium wordpress plugin free all right so um first off let's open up google and do a search and our search will simply be to download premium plugins for free so um this google search has brought in a number of results so um my aim is not to actually advertise these platforms but I'm just gonna open some of them so um, from some of this website you can actually either download premium plugins or themes WordPress themes absolutely free or you can pay a stipend like a small amount and you know get to download the plugins I'm gonna open up one of these sites just to show you what I mean so if I open up this site, um, as you can see, they have a lot of plugins on this site, okay? So basically, I'm going to search for a plugin that doesn't have a free version. I'll search for WP Rocket. Okay, so, um, so this is WP Rocket. It doesn't have a free version. Um, it only, it's a pre strictly a premium plugin. Now I'll make an attempt to download this plugin. So I'm trying to download this. Maybe I should open it first. All right. So um, this is a download button here. So when I click on the download button, I get this pop up that says that I can either choose one of these plans okay so there is a three dollar per download so essentially i can get um this plugin for three dollars okay but this plugin is actually sold for more by the authors okay um well there are some debates about the legality of this and all of that kind of thing but that's not the purpose of this video uh, so essentially many people want to access premium plugins for free so um, it's quite easy to do that I've just shown you how this can be done now let's go ahead and open up virus total to search to scan some of these plugins and check if there is a virus so I'll just say virus total dot com and I'll open it up okay and then I'll just quickly start scanning that plugin this WP rocket right I'll scan it so WP rocket has scanned and it says that um, the plugin is essentially clean according to virus total okay now let's um, go ahead and upload the WP rocket in a local um, site okay this site is strictly on my computer it's hosted on a local server ZAMP to be specific so I'll go ahead and quickly upload this plugin to my so I'll click on add new and then I would upload the plugin so let me just quickly do that so I'll install the plugin And then I would activate the plugin. So I am already getting an error that the plugin could not be activated because it triggered a fatal error. Okay. Um, 
so basically what i'm going to do is i'm just going to download another plugin and use um i don't need to specify the name but i'll just download another plugin from one of these sites and use okay so let me just quickly do that now okay so i was able to successfully activate the wp rocket and it's actually a caching wordpress caching plugin it's one of the best wordpress caching plugin actually it speeds up your website now um i'm gonna try and refresh my website to see if there are any issues so this is me refreshing my website and as you can see everything works fine there's no problem now let's go ahead and do some intense troubleshooting to see some of the dangers of having this plugin remember we scanned this plugin on virus total and there was no issue right all right so now let me let's take a, an in-depth look to identify some of the problems of using premium downloading premium plugins for free okay now what i'll do is i'll log out I'll, I'll go to my file system on my computer and i'll go to the area the point where my zamp installation is and then i'll head on to my wordpress installation so this is my wordpress installation remember i told you that this is zamp a local server on my computer so this is my wordpress installation on my computer here yeah? now what i'll do is i would come to wp hyphen config and I would open it up in my editor. So this would be the same thing as going to your control panel for your hosting or your server and editing this wp-config file. So basically, I've just got to open this up on my code editor on my system. All right, so this is wp-config file on my code editor. Essentially, what I want to do is I want to turn on debug mode on WordPress. So just give me a minute. Let me just look for where the setting is. And okay, so on line 81, here, right here. So as you can see, wp debug function is turned off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this to true. E R U E and then I would save this file. All right. So I successfully turned it to true and I saved the file. Now let's go back to our website and refresh our website to see if there is any problems. As you can see, I got a kind of error before the website completely loaded maybe i should try another page As you, yeah so the error is very prominent here on this login page here yeah? now what does this error mean okay now i'm going to show you what this error mean what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up um the new plugin on i'm going to open up the new plugin on my code editor to show you what the error means okay but first let's go back to our wordpress installation so this is our wordpress installation yeah and this error is telling is telling me that in this particular directory so wp hyphen content so i open wp hyphen content and then this folder here move plugins so this is move plugins here and then i'll open it up and then rms blah 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 dot php so this particular guy my code editor is telling me that this is where there is a problem okay and it's actually an undefined index okay so basically let me just open this up and see what this file is about all right so i've opened up this file and as you can see the comment on this file is actually remote login okay and then there's a function and the name of that function is remote signing and essentially what this function does for some of you that do not write code is that this function gives the 
publishers of the premium plugin that the publishers of the premium plugin that you got for free or for one dollar or some cheap money it gives them an opportunity or an ability to sign into your website remotely okay as you can see so let me just quickly scroll down so it's a very comprehensive um and then what happens is that every time you open up your website right every time you open up your website there is a message or a notification or a report that is sent to this website managerly.org so as you can see it's 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 as good as you shooting yourself in the foot because essentially you just give someone the go ahead to log into your website remotely and there's no telling what they will do when they log into your website you can be sure it's not going to be good so now let me show you something about how you can clean this up okay um so i'm going to close this and i'm going to close this as well um what i'll do is i'm going to open up um let me just go back here so what i'll do is i'm going to go to my plugins and i'm going to open up wp rocket in my code editor so i'll just pop up my code editor and i'll drag wp rocket folder on it okay so we have the wp rocket folder the one we downloaded from one of those websites yeah now um first off i will come to the wp rocket.php yeah which is like the index folder and let's try and analyze some of the code here so as you can see the first line of code on this is a require rule okay and then the first line is saying that this file rms scripts dot um, hyphen ini dot php must be in place for this plugin to work if this um, file is not in place then this plugin cannot work and then there is also another rms remote manager in it essentially what this does is that it creates a file called rms script move plugins dot php every time your website loads it makes sure it makes sure that that file exists on your website so you know what i'll do now i would come to i'll come to come back to move plugins and i will delete this file so i'll say delete and that file is gone now i'll go ahead and reload my web page again remember i just deleted this file yeah so let me reload this web page again so i'll reload okay and then as you can see the file is back so that's what this line of code does on your server it makes sure that this file is always exists every time your page loads okay now if you delete this file so before we delete these two lines of code let's look at our folder structure our directory as you can see on the left here there is this rms script ini php and rms script move plugins php yeah these two files they are the files that have been specified here so the distributors of some of these free plugins they list the plugin with this code here to enable them have remote access to your site okay now let me show you how you can clean this up so essentially what you need to do is first off you need to delete delete these two lines of code and by all means my showing you how to clean up this plugin is not to encourage you to use premium plugins for free it's basically su such that if you already have an existing website and you discover that you have this bug on your website or this hack on your website you can first of all clean that hack so i deleted that and then i would save the page <clears throat> now of course if you 
try to open your website like this then you're going to get an error because without those files in place your website is not going to load okay so the error is still here now but what you need to do next is you need to delete these <clears throat> two files here so i'll right click and i'll delete this file as well i'll move to recycle bin and then i'll delete this file also All right, so I right click and I'll delete. I'll move to recycle bin. <coughs> Excuse me. So essentially, what I've done is I've removed the lines of code and the files that enable the distributor of this plugin to log into my website. But that may not be enough. I may still need to search for any other area on the plugin where that um, code exists. So what I'll do is I will come to I will use a shortcut on Visual Studio Code Editor. So I'll say Control Shift and Find. Okay. And basically what I'm going to say is I'll say RMS. Okay. And then underscore. So. So I still have it. It exists. RMS underscore remote. So. As you can see, I'm already getting some areas on other areas on the plugin where this, you know, instruction has been set. So if I click on this first file, you see that I also have this guy here. So essentially, the distributor of this plugin has listed this file at several points with this code. So um, the thing to do is to actually clean this plugin is that you have to look for everywhere where this code exists so, and as you can see it's, a, it's quite a good number yeah everywhere the code exists and you have to delete it you understand so that's how that's the only way you can clean your website from this hack now of course if you if you don't know how to go about that and you want me to help you out with it just reach out to me in you know via the comment section and we can have a chat outside of YouTube um, but essentially that's the risk that you expose yourself to if you use premium plugins for free if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe um, thank you so much for watching this tutorial um, see you in another one